You ain't if you're sandbagging, you ain't pushing yourself. Why are you stepping on the platform, son? It's A2, dealing with Mike. Maybe it's time for a cold plunge here. Really good for the dopamine receptors. Not doing well. Like a 23 and me with the bottom of his hands, this dude, 58 years old. <laughs> just wash your hands every once in a while. They're washed all the time. What's up, y'all? Before we dive into the video, I just want to make a quick announcement. 3SB.co, good company apparel. Our brand has now launched our first launch of the year, 2024. T-Drop is live. Grab it while it's hot. Use code Silent Mike for a little discount at checkout. Check it out, 3SB.co. Keiko Classic, our first powerlift in America meet. The one and only Bart Kwan is going for Masters Nats. So, shout out to Coach Kyle. They tapped me in. I'm handling them today. First time at the Iron Office down here. This gym looks sick. So, 6 a.m. Bart's just got to check in, weigh in. 7 a.m., I guess. I don't know what time it is. Um, lifting starts at 9. We'll see what the day brings us. Yeah. Hopefully a little easy 9 for 9 days. Just got a qual. We want to throw down some numbers, and then we'll see what's uh So, what's uh, what are we thinking? You think Bart going to get first overall? <laughs> Yeah, you get first overall masters. <laughs> Calling it. No, 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 no. No, no, you heard me. No. <laughs> I think you heard me wrong. Man. You get first overall masters. The whole me. <laughs> Nicely. <laughs> no, but how do you think this meet's gonna go? Like just overall. Oh, it's gonna go good. Oh, there's only 40 lifters. Yeah. I don't see how it goes bad. They got a clean ass setup. It don't go wrong. Seems like everyone knows what they're doing. They've been through this plenty of times. Plenty of times. I think uh, it's gonna be Mars gonna be fine. Okay. Um I've been lifting with them recently, and even the game plan is to, you know, kind of cruise through this thing to go nine for nine and, and continue training Monday. So yeah. the whole goal is to obviously not grind nothing. Um, he does have some depth issues historically. He's got a little bit of butt wiggling on the bench historically. Um, but I know him and Coach Kyle have been locking it in. So, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, a, a lot of that's obviously out of my hands, but I, I'd be stoked for Bart to go nine for nine, all, all, all white lights. Uh, yeah, that's the goal. Has because he had a meet where he goes nine for nine? For sure, uh, maybe nine for nine, but probably not all. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but probably not all white lights. Okay, not all. Yeah, right. but he's probably gone nine for nine. Twenty-seven for twenty-seven. I don't even know if I've gone all nine for nine to be honest. Maybe one or two meets. But you know, if you're if you ain't if you're sandbagging, you ain't pushing yourself. Why are you stepping on the platform, son? What's your goal for today's meet? So Mike's my handler, and before this meet, we actually had a meeting with me, Mike, and my coach about the goals for this meet. So goal number one, we have priorities. So we're really locked in. We're trying to keep it as professional and disciplined as possible. Goal number one is to qualify. So if we bomb out, does us no favors and trying to go to the next step. This is like, we need to alley-oop every single next step. So goal is qualify, which means don't bomb out. Goal number two is um, leave healthy. So I'm dealing with a hand issue, shoulder issue. So we don't want to push it too hard where it jeopardizes training because we're going to train right when we get back. And goal number three is nine for nine. We want to hit nine for nine while remaining healthy so that our confidence and momentum is at a sky high as we push into the final blocks of training going to Masters National. So that's actually the main three goals. The main three goals is not to hit a PR or do anything like that. It's to have a really good meet, stay healthy, and then the goal for Masters Nationals that's when they all change. You that's when win. winning is everything, you know. Look, man, I heard the I heard the I heard the defense coming out in the zone, so we're gonna try to stay in the pocket, pick them apart. Okay. You know, a couple out routes, a couple post routes, maybe run the ball down the throat when we need. We're just gonna play some hard knuckle football out here. I think he's moving good. He, his squat's been looking really good. Uh, even though I think he said he's most confident in his bench right now, randomly. Of all things. His squat's probably been the most consistent since I've, uh, inconsistent since I've known him. But he, he found his groove this last training cycle, so I think he'll be fine. I'll, I'll ask him. So we gotta gauge our, our attempts based on how he's feeling. So 315 sometimes a little light. You yeah. know, if you're squatting the mid fours or five, you can't always tell how you're feeling that day until you touch 70, 80%. So I'll ask him next time, see you know what his energy is or strength. You, know, you can feel like a, you get like a strength meter, like a video game. Yeah. The more you lift, you like feel it. So. We'll see where he is there, and that'll kind of help me judge based on his looks uh, of his attempt and how he's how he's feeling. How his feedback, yeah, what his attempt's gonna be. How that second attempt look? Yeah, a little baby jump, a little baby jump. Just want to go all whiteies. Uh, you don't want to get tired. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was 450. That was 451, and we're going 463. It's a little bit lower than planned, but uh, yeah, you want the day to go smooth. Yeah, rather safe than sorry. We we ain't, we ain't competing against no one head to head. It's A2 dealing with Mike. Time for a cold plunge here. Really good for the dopamine receptors. Not doing well. So we're waiting on bench. Don't know what to do. Sitting on the floor. This shit's heavy, so my hand is for sure shaking. 
Uh, you're gonna have to use AI stabilizer because that don't work. Uh, this is not a vlog camera to me. Chris. I know why Justin's on the show. Your that his butt was coming off the bench before. Just like historic. Okay, just Historically, that's uh, kind of a weak point of arts, but um, he's been good now. Warm ups are always good, and he's worked on it a ton, so I got some confidence he'll be all right. A little rough. They're a little rough. Look at the bottom of his hands. If, you're, if we're doing like a 23 and me with the bottom of his hands, this dude 58 years old. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> this one's better. Oh, that's worse. Yeah, that's not good. That's worse. Just wash your hands every once in a while. They're washed all the time. Oh, 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 God, God. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. You must have been out. Oh, God. How bad is that? Do you think you are Captain Falco? Look at his little ass in outer space. Man, me and Bart have been doing this thing for a long time. I've been powerlifting on my own since about 2009, 2010. And Bart and I have been training together and powerlifting together. Our journeys have um, kind of gone parallel since about 2013. Um, so to see him dive like full force in again, uh, you know, a little bit different chapter of life. He's got a kid, he's got his businesses. And we've always done it for fun, although we are competitive and we obviously want to push and get better. We've never really um, been competitors, per se, but Bart taking this route, really trying to push his masters to the international level is really cool to see. Um, and his actions, his performance today uh, have, have represented that. He has been um, locked in with training, training at 5 a.m. in Vegas, you know, outdoors is freezing. I only joined him once because it's too cold. It's not for me. How'd it feel? Try to be patient like my you coach wants. So it feels way heavier yeah, when you're slow. But it was clean. Uh, I would say right in the pocket. I would say 518 or 523. Um, and to go nine for nine, all white lights, breaking some state records, um, performing at the highest level has been really, really cool to see. So excited to see what's next. I think we got, you know, uh, nationals in Texas. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to schedule myself to get out there and hang out and, and observe that. But um, enjoy the video, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed that day in Washington perform. 3SB.co for all your needs. Brand new drop. Thank you so much.